We are supply chain. We are supply chain. We are supply chain. Nosotros somos supply chain. I am my supply chain group. I'm MSCG, and we're your supply chain group. Welcome back to SAP's IBP PPDS presentation. Um, I'm going to I'm going to start off talking about PPDS, but before that, let's do a little bit of a summary of where we left off. We looked at the operational supply plan transitioning into um, PPDS. Um, in the demonstration for the previous session, we looked at shelf life maturation plan or planning based on shelf life handled within, within PPDS. We looked at maturation time considerations. We looked at minimum sh remaining shelf life and how it can be varied for specific customers in the system. 100 for one customer, 30 days for um, another customer. It, all, it, it tells you, um, you know, that batches that are sent to customers should not expire before that particular date. Uh, with that, this is the right time to transition to short-term scheduling. Um, we start with the um, uh, replanning uh, and rescheduling or scheduling of the orders needed, uh, primarily because we know that the milk file that we get from our vendors um, because of the milk composition vari variation uh, necessitates um, replanning in the next, um, you know, immediate horizon. That's the shorter term. Um, that's the shorter term horizon. The, the, the orders that have already planned also need to be scheduled. So these are the two factors basically that drive replanning and rescheduling in the in what we call the scheduling horizon within uh, within SAP. Um, how does the system go about achieving achieving this? It does this using what we call the setup changeover optimization and sequence optimization. You know, in SAP we have what's called as a setup matrix that you see in front of you. It has got a setup time and a setup cost for a specific predecessor successor combination. For, ex for example, if you see the blueberry mango, it's got a transition time of five hours and a setup cost of uh, 500. It's a relative cost. Um, we can see in the system how that works. Higher the cost, lesser are the chances that the system can bring that transition upfront in the schedule. So lower cost will be attended to first. You've got, a system, you've got a system here in front of you where the orders, there are some overloads in the system. And what we will show you is how optimizers can help us balance out the, um, balance out the overloads. Um, this will respect the transition times and the transition costs we have given. For example, we have given lesser transition time for um, you know, blank to plain, uh, lesser lesser costs from blank to plain. Any transition from plain to a lighter grade has received a, a little bit higher uh, cost, um, but not as much as the plain, not, not as much as the transition from the plain gets. Uh, the launching of the optimizer itself uh, is straightforward and direct from this DS planning board, detailed scheduling planning board, and then um, you bring up the uh, parameters that you play with as you, as you roll out and kick out the optimizer. So for example, if you can see here, the total setup cost has a high high weightage. It's a number, but it's weightage. You give higher weightage to setup costs vis-a-vis -vis the setup times. So when we run this, we have set it to run for only one minute. When we run this, the expectation is that the system will take the balanced plan and um, even out the resource loading and ensure that there is no um, overlook. As, as it as it loads, we have to understand that the, the way the system is going to be designed is that um, yogurt products will have um, a much smaller um, scheduling horizon um, and the cheese products will have a larger scheduling horizon given that they have maturation date uh, to, fact, to be factored um, inside them. Um, optimization can also do campaign planning that are normally needed for the powdered products within the yogurt industry. We know that by our experience, um, you can similarly, you can group similar products under one optimization profile and run campaign planning for them. What you see is the output here for, um, for the optimizer results. You can see that the plain is followed by the olive colors, that's uh, mango, and then the blue colors are your maple. If you switch this to monthly schedule, um, you will get a picture of how the sequencing of the orders has, um, has happened. Now, 
as a scheduler, you might want to come in and say, hey, I want all the planes to run on one machine, um, which means that you will have to move the orders. The reallocation of orders from one machine to other is as simple as a drag and drop. You see that the system adjusts as I drag and drop. And then, um, um, you know, the, the, the user is free, to, uh, is free to save and adopt um, the, uh, the, the details um, that, that he just saved. Um, this is, these are some of the illustrations of how powerful the tool is and how it can help with replanning and, uh, um, you know, rebuilding the schedule uh, from scratch. Um, 